So Christie Digital is a digital display company. We build uh, digital displays for a wide variety of markets. Our, one of our biggest markets is digital cinema. Uh, you go to the movie theater, you've most likely seen it on a Christie projector. Uh, we also do rental staging products. Uh, we do rock concerts, road shows. We do fixed install products to go into conference rooms, boardrooms, as well as a wide variety of simulation and even projection mapping or projection mapping on buildings. My name's Mark Barfoot and I'm the Director of Engineering Services here at Christie. So Christie started in additive manufacturing around 2002. Uh, we started with an FDM machine and uh, now we have 12 different uh, additive machines. We have four different technologies. We have FDM, we have SLS, we have SLA, and we have PolyJet technology. We also have a suite of uh, CNC machining as well to complement the additive. We pretty much take care of 95% of all prototypes in-house for product launch, pre-product design, uh, early production runs, fixturing for production, and goes on from there. Before we had the post-process machines, we were doing everything by hand. Some of the complex geometry, it was really hard to get the support material out of uh, you know, deep cavities and little tiny grooves. What we really struggled with was really thin-walled parts. Uh, we'd often have to build two or three parts at a time because we might damage one, go through a sidewall or the part was just too thin, so we'd have to do it two or three times to hopefully get one that we could clean properly. We, we chose post-process because there really wasn't anybody else that had something that had their offerings of being able to be environmentally friendly, but also uh, able to clean the parts as well as their products do. We have a Millie uh, surface finishing machine that we use to clean our parts uh, and smooth them out, uh, especially we even use it for some of our CNC parts to deburr them and clean those. And we also have a DESI support removal system. Uh, we put everything in there from our printed parts to our machine parts. The parts that we got off the sport removal machine are very consistently cleaned. Their finishes were far and on the best I've seen. I couldn't do that by hand. They were efficient, they're quiet, it's just so easy to work with. Uh, and the fact that they actually were tweaking the ultrasonics to exactly match the uh, frequency for the type of uh, parts we were trying to clean, which made you get a much better result than other systems we'd looked at. Where it really excels is when you have multiple of the similar type of part. Uh, before it might take an operator an hour and a half or two hours to clean a tray of parts coming off our polyjet. Um, now with the post-process machine, operator time is down to maybe less than 10 minutes. Production on my end has increased because I can go elsewhere and take care of other jobs in the meantime. Uh, it's really just saved a lot of hours. Uh, we've also started looking into the base machine uh, to be able to uh, do a one-stop shop where we're actually able to clean the parts but also dry the parts uh, and get the parts out even faster. The, the post-process team has always been great to work with. We have a great working relationship with them. Uh, their techs are knowledgeable. If you have a question or a concern, they'll help you figure it out. I haven't found an easier company to deal with. Let's make some parts and put down the sandpaper. <laughs>